Hi friends, I am Shuman and welcome to AAC Technical. Today I am going to show you how to change video background in Adobe After Effects CC. First of all, to change the video background, your video background's color must be green or blue. You might think maybe why green or blue. The colors can be gray, white, black or purple. The green and blue are used most often because they stand out the best in the sense that seems chroma king in picking up a color and replacing it with a different image. Green or blue screens are based on the idea of chroma king. Well, let's get started. Alright, it's a raw video file. I will show you by changing the background of this video. And I have downloaded these images for changing the video's background. Well, now I am going to open the After Effects CC. Yeah, this is the latest version. Adobe After Effects CC 2017. Alright, I am going to window menu. Now, I am going to mark on project option to active the project panel. Yeah, as you can see, project panel has become active. Again, I am going to window menu. Now, I am going to mark on tools option to active the tools bar. Yes, as you can see, tools bar has become active. Alright, now I am going to bring raw video and images file from the desktop. You can select all the files together. Just drag and drop them here. Yes, you can see that the files have come to the project panel. Alright, now I am just selecting the raw video file and I am just dragging from project panel and dropping into the composition panel. You can zoom in and zoom out with the mouse wheel. This hand tool, you can move any video or image objects through this hand tool. It is pen tool for masking. It will be necessary for cut the unnecessary parts of the video and image. Well, mark as much as you need with this pen tool as you can see. Then you will see unnecessary part is automatically removed from the main part as you can see. Now I am going to effect menu. After that I am going to keying and then I am going to key light option. Next I am going to screen color. Then I just click on this dropper icon. Now I am going to click on this green area of this video as you can see. Alright now you can see some of the video background color has changed but the work is not over yet. Well, now I am going to view option. After that, I just select the screen mat. Then I am going down here. After that, I just select the screen mat option. Now the main object, which is white color, and the background, which is black color. Two colors should be clean, dark, and bright, and the both colors must be cleared differently. Now I am going to click black option, and simply I hold down left click on here and by dragging I am increasing the black color according to needed. Now you can see the black color has become dark and it is clearly understood. And now I am going to click white option. Simply I hold down left click on here and by dragging I reducing the black color according to needed. Now you can see the white color has become right and it is clearly understood. Well now I am going to view option. After that I just select the final result. 
Now you can see half of our work has been done. And now I am going to screen shrink and grow option and simply I hold down left click on here and by dragging I am just increasing it a little bit. Alright, I am going to project panel and I am going to bring image files from the project panel at the timeline which I kept as background for the video. Now I am just dragging and dropping here as you can see. Yeah, done. Now you can see the video background has been changed. If you want, you can use any color, image or even any video as a background. Well, I am finally selecting the image as the background of my video. Alright, just like I am doing, adjust the image as you need it. Next, I am selecting both the main object and the background image. Now I am going to effect menu. After that, I am going to color correction. Then click on equalize option. Well, now I am going to master situation to doing adjust main object with background. Now you can see the background image with the main object is almost matched. Alright, I am not doing anything more here. If you want, you can try some more effects. Next, I am going to Composition menu. After that, I am going to click on Add to Render Key option. Next, I am going to Output Module option. Then, I am going to Format and then I will select Quick Time. Next, I am going to Format option. Then, I am going to Video Code option and then I will select H.264. Then, click on OK. Alright, I am selecting audio output 32 bits and stereo. You can keep it defaults if you want. Then click on OK. Next, I am going to output 2 option. I am saving it on the desktop by the name of produce 1. Finally, I am going to click on render. Now be patient for a while until the process is complete. Yes, the process is complete. Well, now let me show you. Although I showed up very quickly, but it has been quite well. We hope you will like, of course, let us know your opinion. 
If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.